Hey everybody, welcome to Country Girl. Today I've got a, another Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, just to let you know, I am filming this pretty late at night. I'm filming this on Thursday, but I really wanted to get this up for you on Friday. I know a lot of people are probably going to have some time off um, for the next few days at leading up to Easter. And then that way, if you see anything that I'm hauling that you're interested in, you'll have an opportunity tomorrow or Saturday to go out and pick up some of these things at your Dollar Tree. I did decide today that I was going to put together a Easter basket for my mom and dad. And so um, I did pick up some things for that. And surprisingly enough, the Dollar Tree that I went to still had quite a lot of nice Easter things. Um, of course, a lot of stuff was picked over, but they still had a lot of nice things that um, was still available that you could put together for an Easter basket. So anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this haul. And I will go ahead and start with the Easter basket stuff since, you know, that's what I'm talking about. I did pick up this cute little basket here, or bucket, and, um, you know, it's just a little yellow bucket. It's got a little chick on it. I like how it's got the little feet down here. Um, I think they had another one that had a bunny, but um, at the Dollar Tree I went to today, this was, you know, about the cutest one that they had left. So I did pick up this one, and instead of my um, doing an Easter basket for my mom and then doing another one for my dad i'm just gonna put both of their stuff in here now i didn't get them a whole lot but it's going to definitely fill up this bucket in the easter basket for the easter grass they had this and this is kind of like the little party filler party bag or filler stuff that i use sometimes and i'm doing like gift baskets and things like that but i like the color of this and it really went along and matched the little bucket i thought pretty well I only needed one bag because I'm putting so much stuff in here that, you know, I'm not going to have a whole lot of room for this grass anyway. So I did pick that up. Um, I wanted to put some little treats and things like that in there that I thought that they might would like. I did get my daddy um, a six pack of the Three Musketeers because I felt like that would be something easy for him to eat. Um, it doesn't have nuts or anything like that that it would be hard for him to chew or caramel it might get stuck on your teeth. So I did get that for him. The candy bars that I got my mother, I got her Almond Joys. She really likes these and she don't really have a hard time eating nuts and things like that like my father does. So I did pick up that for her. I also picked up some of this um, Fuji Apple fruit crisp some little dried fruits i'm not sure how these taste but um they like dried fruits and i thought this would be something different to stick in there and then i also picked up some of these um freeze-dried peach slices my daddy really likes peaches he loves peach cobbler so i thought well maybe you know they can either one of them can have one one can have the other or they can split both of them however they want to do that picked up two of these bear claws i got a strawberry and then i got a um cherry cherry cheese and so i think that he would probably like the cherry but they can decide amongst themselves you know which ones they want to have for that i did get my mama a couple more sweets or snack type things and i got my daddy but i don't think he's really gonna care um i got her some of these little um peach gummies they're by i don't know how you say that haribo haribo i don't know anyway she likes the peach rings that they have sometimes so um you know these are shaped like little peaches so i thought she would like that so i got those for her she also likes some some she likes sunflower seeds so I picked her up a bag of the sunflower seeds to put in there. And also there's a couple other items that I'm going to stick in there. Um, she had, I hauled the other day those cute little pineapple lip glosses that she said she wanted one of them. So I'm just going to stick that little pineapple lip gloss down in that basket. And then she also mentioned when she saw a picture of these little fuzzy pins um, that I had posted on Instagram, she thought those were really cute and she said she liked this color here. So I did pick up one of those. For her and i'm gonna put that in the easter basket and since i got those for her i wanted to get a couple little items for my dad so i got these screen cleaning wipes and these were in the section that's got you know like all of the um electronics and things like that and when i, I looked at it because i wanted to open it up because i thought it may be like individual little packs or something but it's actually like one little small pack and it's got um 20 sheets in here 
and you just take it out and you can wipe off your screens and stuff like your cell phone screens computer screens things like that and i like it because um my dad he like he has like an ipad a mini ipad that he uses and whenever i come over there the screen on that thing is just always so dirty and so i thought about getting like a little spray bottle with a cloth but then i thought you know this would be so much easier for him to use he could put this beside of him um, in his chair and then when he needs to clean his screen off he can just take this out wipe it down and throw it in trash so i am going to put that in there for him and then something else that i picked up for him was this um cable organizer and you just it's kind of like um make made out of like silicone and you just wrap your cable around it um or earphones or whatever it is you want but he's got a um, cable cord that he uses to charge his ipad and you know i thought that might come in handy for him um to be able to use so i'm sticking that down in there as well when i was checking out i saw these um we call it icy pops but these are 10 freezer bars i have sonic on here i'm assuming it's because they're uh, making these or these are made from like the sonic um, drink recipes but this is ocean water and cherry limeade so you get 10 of these in here and so i did pick up one for them i also picked the girls up some of this gum caitlin really likes this type of gum and so i'm just gonna you know i had already put their stuff together but i'm gonna go ahead and slide that down in there so they can have that and then i got madeline this one and this is just the peppermint i'm making a recipe sunday and it's kind of like ambrosia salad i don't know if any of y'all have heard of that before but this is called i think it's pina colada fluff and um so the recipe calls for some chopped pecans i wasn't at the grocery store i know pecans can be pretty expensive which i probably ended up spending more for them at the dollar tree but anyway i just ended up getting two packs of the um chopped pecans while i was there because the recipe does call for it and i was there so i figured i'd need it it also calls for some marshmallows the little mini marshmallows and the dollar tree has some really good marshmallows i really like these so i did go ahead and pick up some of these and i'll put a link to that recipe down below too so you can kind of see what i'm talking about when i'm making it it also calls for some um coconut i don't know i'd have to look at the recipe shredded coconut coconut chips something like that so anyway i'm not a big coconut fan but i think if i'm going to eat coconut i'd rather be toasted so while i was at the dollar tree i picked up these coconut chips and i'm going to um, put that in the recipe as well i did get me some hamburger buns that i got those because i bought some turkey burgers the other day and we really like the sesame buns and so they had them at the dollar tree today so i went ahead and picked them up we don't always get this i usually just get whatever the dollar tree has available but if they do have these we do i go ahead and get this because i do like those the best and then i also got some of these warheads chewy bunnies because madeline had asked me to buy her some of the um sour patch kids i'll try sorry i was trying to think of the name of them but it was sour patch kids and i did not have caitlin anything um equal to that so today while i was at the dollar tree i went ahead and picked these up and i'm going to give these to caitlin also picked up some of these um quart storage bags i have hauled these before and then i also got the gallon storage bags um i don't really use these a whole lot um, i don't go through these nowhere near like i go through like sandwich bags or snack bags but one thing i do when i'm packing up like um decorations for a holiday to put back in the boxes to store away i will use a lot of these because i do wrap stuff up and then i will put them down into these little zip bags and things like that even though i have a barn that i keep my um you know holiday decorations and things like that in and i do put them in a box i still like to put stuff especially cloth items in sealed zip bags to protect them when i was putting up my um, valentine decorations um, and winter decorations i ended up using the rest of what i had already had so i did want to replace those and so anyway i got some of these okay so the next one of the other things that i got while i was there i had hauled a flying disc um the last time or i showed you the package of it anyway with a picture that you can put the um, little glow sticks in 
So while I was there, I did just go ahead and pick up another pack of their little bracelets that they have. Um, you get eight in this pack. And so that way we've got, you know, two more um, sets that we can use when we're doing the little Frisbee type thing that we picked up the other night at the Dollar Tree. So the new items that I picked up today, um, of course, I have seen other people hauling this little list pad and I wanted it so bad. And I know I bought several list pads in the last few hauls, but I could not resist getting this one because I just love this little deer. I just think this is so cute. So I was super excited that I found this at my Dollar Tree. So I got that. And then they had a lot of new wall art out. And so um, I did get some of that. And of course, I'm not gonna put these on my walls. I'm gonna be using this for like scrapbooking. But I thought this one was really pretty. Um, this just looks like the little cactus um, and succulent plants. And the back side of this. And I like how they're all different. And then how they also have like the little ones as well as the little big as the big you know pots they've got the little ones on here um, that you can use so anyway got that one i thought this butterfly one was really beautiful i love the colors in this everything is just so bright and vibrant And I like with the butterflies, I used a variety of different colors, different shapes, different sizes. So, you know, you can use these on many different things, but I love these. And I saw this at the time that I got this. There was only one, and this is really beat up. <laughs> and it looked like it was peeling off a little bit. And as a matter of fact, I even lost a sticker here. But being that it was the only one at that store, I was afraid I wasn't going to find it again. So I did go ahead and purchase it um, because it is salv salvageable. It's not completely um, unusable. So I did go ahead and buy that. And then when I went to the second Dollar Tree today, um, of course, they had a bunch of, the, of these that are in good condition. But that's all right. So I got the Little Mermaid. And they had other new ones that I did not buy. And again, I urge you to get on my Instagram so that you can see those because whenever I go to the Dollar Tree or whenever I put out a Dollar Tree haul video, more than likely I have taken pictures while I have been in these Dollar Trees and things that I did not buy, I did um, take pictures of and post on my Instagram. So if you ever wanna see you know, what's out there that I have not picked up, but you know found at my dollar tree definitely head over there because i did post a lot more of these new um wall art on that and then this one is the last one that i had picked up um, from the wall art i thought this was really pretty i had not seen this before and at first i wasn't going to get it because i thought well this is just way too big to use on a scrapbook page but then um i started thinking well what i can do is I can actually like cut or like pull this part off and then maybe just trim the, this off around here. And I can use this like it's coming in on the side of my page and then add the feathers in different places around the pictures on my, um, my scrapbook page. So I am going to use that in scrapbook you know in my, on my scrapbook pages as well um, i always buy my own paper clips because the paper clips that they pick up for us at work are just the standard metal paper clips and i do not like those they tear my paper and they also slide off my paper they just do not hold very well i like the coated paper clips better so i just go to the dollar tree and buy my own uh, but they have a new color um, scheme out this time and this which actually i'm kind of surprised they're putting it out now because this to me just looks like more of a fall color but um i don't know if you can really tell but it's like a pink an orange a um, green the burgundy color um it's trying to see maybe a navy blue but yeah these colors are just kind of like um to me just kind of like fall colors so i did get the um, small paper clips and then I also got the jumbo paper clips. 
And then I also got a pack of the rubber bands. So I like that. I really like this color scheme though. I think it's very pretty. And this was something that I saw that was definitely new and different. This is the last item that I'm going over with you. This is called a spa comb. And um, what made me get this, see how it's got these little bubble ends on it, is that it says on here, it says raises and separates hair after removing braids and rollers. Um, gently massages scalp without messing up hair, can be used on wet or dry hair with no snagging or tugging. So in a way, I guess it's kind of like a pick. Um, but I know like it almost makes you think of like fingers, like finger combing your hair. I know like if you've ever, I don't have the hair to do this with, this would definitely be for my daughters. Um, but like if you've ever rolled your hair um, on rollers and then took it out, you don't want to brush your hair because if you do, your, your curls are just going to fall out. So you just take your fingers and you just kind of like brush through your hair with your fingers. I think this is kind of like the same concept. Plus, you can get this in there and you can lift your hair at the roots. I think this would be something neat to have too. Like if you were going to hairspray your hair or put dry shampoo in your hair, to take one of these and kind of like stick it in there and it would help you lift your hair so that you could spray it without having to put get your hands you know in there and get i don't know i just think it might help lift your hair more if you had something like this so that is my dollar tree haul i hope y'all enjoyed watching and i will see you next time bye